sprouted a second head and went crazy. Um, he has no idea how this has gone about, but he suspects that it's something to do with like the alterations to certain individuals amongst the Durgar populace. Um, however, um, he's relieved that his friend was put down before he did any more harm to anybody. Um, Say that to poor Artemis here. <laughs> yeah, I'm also quite fucked up as well. <laughs> um, Hi, HP. So... I'm going to wait a polite distance away until the the uh, the dwarves are done talking to the stone giant, at which point I would like to approach the stone giant. Okay. Um, the, 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 they carry on talking for a few moments and then they turn around and um, the Durgar start deliberating amongst themselves what to do with the stone giant's body. Um... However, the stone giant turns and goes to approach you. Uh, you see that the Durgar start questioning um, the merchants that had their stalls broken, etc, etc. Um... And then uh, they they just carry on talking amongst themselves. Um, he greets you and says, uh, introduces himself as Dohan. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, Dohan. No, no. Sorry, Dohan. Dohan. Sorry. Dohan. Do uh, Dohan. Stone giant. Okay, cool. Right, I I um Nook Nook says to to Dorhon um and I am Nook a simple and humble merchant and uh, he says um Scoreus Stonebones blessing upon you for enjoying um uh, and uh Show off. He, Bows, yes. Well, I I know about giants, all right. Um, and uh, basically, he's gonna be like, "I'm I'm very sorry about what happened to your friend there. I I was only defending myself. I hope you can respect that." Uh, he says, um, "He he leans down, <clears throat> and you can see that he basically takes a knee mm -hmm. as you're talking." Um, because he is in the region of 24 foot tall. Yeah. Um, so he does kneel down, um, and at this height he is clearly six feet tall. <laughs> uh, from the ground to his head, not tall. Um, so he, uh, he says greetings. Um, I thank you for dealing with my friend, um... It is a sad, it is a sad moment for, for us to have to deal with an apprentice like this. Um, yeah, Nook sort of nods, and uh, and says, "I tried my best to reason with him, but it turns out he's got mad, hit me with his big old hand. He did. Oh, and where are my manners? Um, this is Crixori." A soldier, and an honest woman, and I... I just hear my name and bow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, I introduce uh, Dorhun to you in common. No, in Dwarvish. In Dwarvish. Okay, he... Uh... Talking, speak all, all the languages. <laughs> he goes, uh, he goes, greetings, cracks. Um, I am Dorhun. Um Great. Greetings, yeah, it, it takes you off guard because it's in common. Okay. Um, thank you very much. 
Um, I've never seen a giant of any variety of giants with two heads before. Uh, and I'm wondering, I mean no disrespect, but was your friend engaged in anything that might, might have been dangerous, whether he knew it or not? Uh, no, as far as I know. He, or we, should I say, we um, we are servants, not servants, apprentices, to Hargram uh, in the Churngun caverns. Uh, he, he points to where the entrance that, uh, that the stone giant burst through. Yeah. Um, he, uh, we... Um, our humble servants to our deity and oh, please say the one that I actually said oh. <laughs> yes they are <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking gamble <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he um, he's, yeah, we're, we're humble servants and during our morning rites, he suddenly went crazy and spontaneously grew a second head by the looks of it. Um, I am deeply sorry for your uh, last comrade. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> you can see, you can see that there's, there's like, there's no, there's no like, uh, expression on his face but you can see that there's like yeah. a tear there's like a tear that comes down his face um and they, he doesn't even notice that it's there he just it just falls um in in the interest of I honesty <laughs> I, I i was the one who struck the final blow and i i have no quarrel with the with the giant folk uh being of the dwarven folk and we both love the stone but he was sadly out of control and he wasn't listening to reason. Hmm. Not that I tried to reason with him. I just attacked. But he doesn't need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I reasoned. That basically is the part. No, no try. Yeah. Um, hmm. How much have you heard about demonic developings in the Underdark recently? Hmm. Not so much. The stone doesn't tell us that much. Doesn't tell me that much. It probably tells Hargram more because he's he's the master. I think we should have a conversation about yeah. some of these happenings. You I... say it was Hargram. Yeah, Hargram. H G R. Double AM. Uh, he's like, I can arrange this, possibly tomorrow. Uh, and he's the leader of the Stone Giants, correct? Uh, you believe that he is, yes. There is troubling times ahead for everyone and I feel not just for everyone down in the Underdark or here in Grakostra, I think for everyone on the uh, on the surface and in the Underdark bad things are happening and we've witnessed some of it uh, yeah then I think that you need to talk to Hargram um, he 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 moves his hands out of his sleeves, and you see his like blue, purplish sort of skin stone, uh, his stone skin, I guess. Yeah. Um. He reaches inside his robe and pulls out a um. It's kind of a uh. uh it's kind of like a semicircle, sort of icon. Okay. 
Yeah. Um, that's got like a, a dwarven rune on it. Um, it looks similar to something that you would you understand, even though that it is kind of off. So you think that it's something to do with the Durgar. Yeah. Um, so it, the languages are similar, but there's a little bit of a skew. Um, so it's yeah, kind like, of... you know, American and British English. Do I? Yeah, do I know, do like I know what it means? Yeah, you get the same sort of like you know mm, that's kind of dwarvish, but mm, it's different. Um. So you, uh, he gives it to you, and it's about. It's probably huge, right? No, it's not massive. It's about um, it's about eighteen inches in length. Um, I don't... And, and then he, uh, and then it, uh, it curves round like a like like kind of like a disc is chopped in half. Is kind of what it yeah. looks like. Um, and he hands it to you, um, and he says, uh, "If you show this to uh, the guards at the bridges." Um, uh, you will be able to cross to the other side oh, of the okay. city. Um, if you come to, uh, if you come to the Carngorn Cavern, Gorn Cavern, uh, then we, I shall arrange. For you to meet Hargram. Thank you very much. I'll stow it in my pack. Um, uh, we will. Uh, any particular time tomorrow, or tomorrow will be fine at any time. Uh, Where are we meeting him? Uh, I saw. Sure, I saw a map up here. Can go and cavern. Or is there a map in the chart? Yeah. I mean, did they it's really the... think that nobody from the UK would be playing this game? Yeah, it's on the uh, it's on the west side of the cavern, so it's like the southwest. Cool. Uh, okay, so you take the icon. Uh... Oh yeah, there we are. Hmm. Uh, whilst you say uh, the the last thing that you said to him, you see that he stands back up. Um, I I want I want to ask la one last thing. He just looks down at you. Um, and uh, Nook asks the name of the giant that was slain. His name. I know I forgot to say something. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! Had been a while. Yeah. First dick of the night. <laughs> uh, his name was Rehud. Fuck me. Alright, you'll have to spell that for me, right? R U I. R I, yeah. H W. No, double. Uh, U U D, not W. Yeah, W. Uniform, uniform, Delta. Yep, that's the one. Right. Fucking hell, that's like a proper Dutch name, that does. Me <laughs> <laughs> um, I, 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 I was saying, what, what, I will... what is Dutch? I believe uh, they, they go by Swamp, swamp Germans. Swamp Germans? Swamp Germans? Yeah. <laughs> I, still, I still love that term so much. You're <laughs> um, I, I'll, 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 I'll thank him and I'll say, um, I, I will, uh, I'm a, uh, a religious dwarf and I will pray for him. Um, I will say his name along with the others who I follow. I don't know whether that will make a difference to you, but for me. The feeling is appreciated. No worries, I bow again. Yeah. He uh, he bows. <laughs> it's quite a big bow because of his size. Um, and then he, he you see that he kind of like drifts. Uh, drifts over to the body and then scoops up his you know, scoops up his uh, his friend yeah. and then makes his way to the bridges that lead uh, across to the southern part of the city so 
Nook looks at Crex in this moment alone and he, he says, Well, looks like we're not leaving after all. I think it's probably wise to risk staying the night. Oh, yeah, I think we've made some uh, some powerful allies there. Yeah. Sad that it came at such a cost. It is, it is, but uh, all things do come at a cost. These are the ways of things. I suppose we should right, get with it, really. All right. <sighs> all right, let's go deal with your insufferable friends. <laughs> You're not are, you saying this in, are, you, are you saying this in Dorvish? Because I could hear you. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I just want more excuses to pour more drinks over there. <laughs> and See, what I'm waiting for is the, sh the shenanigans so that's going to happen between you two. Wasted drinks. <laughs> that's what they are. It was watered you, down. They're just going to end up boning at some point, aren't they? Yeah, I'm not interested in men. <laughs> Ignatius, no. <laughs> I'm not interested in men either. Boom. Well, you know, I beg to differ with that giant ruby up your ass. <laughs> There's something you're not admitting to yourself there, Nook. <laughs> Alright, I'll give you that. You know, hold on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring um, it up. So I'm, I'm just going to like go back to the group and say, uh, kind of fill them in roughly on what was discussed. We have a meeting with uh, what we think is their leader tomorrow to talk about potentially having an ally against whatever the hell's going on down here. Um, I think it's worth risking the night. We have lodgings paid for. I desperately need to heal. And I'd like to get some of my spell slots back. And if we ran, I wouldn't get them back for another four or five sessions, knowing the way our sessions go. <laughs> then rest. Yep, rest it is. Back to the tavern. Oh, fucking hell. Sleepy time. Bobos. Yeah. Guessing that's where we're ending. Yeah. Oh, so I'm about to crash on this laptop. Cool. Yeah, that that is that is where we're going to end yeah. this today's session. <clears throat> that was that is a good place to hold out. Hey guys, I'm sorry that the video cut really quickly because the stream decided to end. Luckily, we finished at that point, but I didn't do an outro, so I thought I'd do one quickly. So. Thank you for joining us and enjoying the stream. Uh, look down below for all the links. We now have a GoFundMe page. So just want to quickly talk about that. So basically what we're looking at is acquiring better equipment for everybody that's in the group. So we can all have quality video slash audio equipment at our disposal. Um, so the, you know, the link is down somewhere there for you to go and have a look at. Uh, please share with your friends people that you think will be interested um, the YouTube page that is as well as the GoFundMe page you know just share share the community we're getting great feedback from everywhere from YouTube to Reddit to Facebook because we have a Facebook group uh, fan page even um, where we all tend to monitor every day on there so if you want to ask us a question or you want to you know just hit some up Hit us up and we'll give you an answer at some point during the course of the day. I uh, want to see how far we can take this, uh, take this stream and take this, take this experience that we're all giving you. So that's it from me, Ryan the Dortmund. I'll see you in the next session and take care of each other.